Hey there fans, welcome back to our page. Welcome back to a, another project update. The month of January is done and over and as always we bring you what we accomplished in the prior month and uh, what we got coming up. So let's go ahead and get into it. First of all, I want to make a couple of announcements. I'm uh, going to start this, uh, this episode a little bit different than the ones before. Uh, I want to acknowledge something that's really just phenomenal, our channel growth. Uh, despite um, any uh, minor distractions from last month, our channel continues to grow. We managed to pick up an extra 400 subscribers. Uh, we managed to get over uh, about, yeah, a little over about $1,000 in our GoFundMe uh, donation. Uh, the bulk of that, I'd say about 80 to 90% of that came uh, after the 15th. So thank you. Thank you to all those who uh, contributed. Uh, welcome to the newcomers, right? If you are a new subscriber, just want to wish you uh, a warm welcome to our channel. Uh, we've had over 30 different auditions already submitted um, for our sequel, right, cast. So that's pretty cool. And we've had some uh, we've had some submissions for some artists. We've got three potential new new artists joining the team. Um, looking at their portfolio now, reviewing it and uh, seeing how we can get these folks to fit in. So all, all in all, uh, we are progressing. Uh, we are moving along as planned, which is phenomenal. So for you newcomers, uh, just a couple of, uh, of reminders, right? Uh, or a couple of things as you come on to our channel. Number one, this is a family oriented channel. We keep it G rated here. We, we don't curse, we don't, uh, we don't have foul language, we don't have any mature content. As a matter of fact, I think it was at the beginning of last year, maybe second quarter of last year, uh, Mike had brought to my attention that there was, I guess maybe, a, I, don't know how to, I don't know how to identify this, if, if it's a troll or a bot, but they were posting mature links, and uh, as soon as I saw it, I immediately took that down. So I constantly check our comments uh, for stuff like that because, as mentioned before, I have a large portion of our subscribers are children, including my children. They're minors, and so I want to make sure that this channel is kept safe and free for them, um, free from any of that, uh, any mature content, right? Um, uh, this channel is also apolitical. We don't get into uh, political topics. Uh, I have kept my political views out of this channel, out of this specific channel. Just, just, I just want it, to, it, it's absurd. I, I want to state this because, uh, you know, uh, I, I think it's, it would be pretty crazy to think that nobody has views or, or ideas or et cetera, right? Uh, I think that's pretty foolish. But what, I, what I've done is on my channel, since it's been up in 2007 and this project started in 20, 2014, my personal views have not made it onto this channel and it will continue to be that way, right? Prime Animations is apolitical. We don't get into identity politics, woke, etc. We don't do any of that stuff here, right? This is a family. This is good old classic at a 3D animation or animated animated film, right? Whatever made the stuff great back in the time that I grew up, the 80s and the 90s, that's what we continue uh, doing in this particular instance. So welcome, welcome. Uh, if, if you think that's not for you, no worries, uh, you know, uh, no hard feelings. But if you uh, are okay with that, you know, welcome, welcome to the team, welcome to the family, right? Uh, and so what happens is normally every single month what I do is I do a project update, right? I give the audience, our subscribers, I give you guys updates on what we've accomplished, uh, things that are being worked on, what's coming down the road, special topics, etc. And that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do today. So let's go ahead and jump into it, right? So first off, our accomplishments. Uh, we completed uh, the smoothing for scene 8, um, 1811. Uh, that's like I said, the smoothing, uh, that includes the special effects, the score and the visual effects, which obviously you guys saw in our post from, um, last Saturday, right? In addition to that, uh, scene eight, 18, uh, nine and 18, 10 were the score and the sound effects were also completed. Obviously those were all three combined together and posted, like I said, on Saturday. Uh, and we'll, we'll talk about the details regarding that post or that uploaded video a little bit later on in the special topics. Uh, we had our talent interview towards the beginning of the month. Uh, we had our Q&A session. Um, uh, I think it was at the end of January, tail end of January. Uh, we had our Q&A session. Um, and then we had, um, then uh, scene 1812 has been completed. So all of our animation has been done. It is completed. Um, so 
we finally made it. After nine long years, we finally got it all done. It's it's taken care of. Now, some of you guys may wonder, well, where's 19? 19 was already done back in December. So um, that's, that's that. Um, uh, what's ongoing? So be it that we finished with 1812, um, uh, the, uh, the visual effects still need to be done. So I haven't handed that off to Nolan just yet because uh, I have to do the uh, the visual effects, uh, but 19 is in his uh, in his uh, line of sight, and he is working on the score and the sound effects as we speak. Uh, February is going to be a short month, so we really want to get a jump on this uh, sooner than later, right? All right, what's next? So what's next? As I mentioned before in last month's project update, I want to refine some of the special effects, make it more tailored, and give it that prime animation look. There are certain just little little things here and there maybe you guys noticed it maybe you guys didn't but i sure noticed it and so those little things that really that the show did uh special effects wise i want to go ahead and do for just for example when the laser hits one of the robots i noticed there's a little burst that happens uh at the end of the laser burst so it's not only a laser burst but it's also like like a metal burst or something like that. So I want to add that into our scene. So look for some refinement in our special effects. It's not going to be a whole lot, but um, definitely like in the lasers, I think the lasers are the biggest ones that need the most amount of attention in my opinion. So uh, we'll be working on that uh, this coming uh, in the next couple of uh, weeks, right? Uh, we also want to go back and do some animation refinement, some of the walk cycles and run cycles and the timing, they still need to be adjusted. Uh, we, you know, for what, I, I shouldn't say for whatever reason, uh, my, you know, the saying practice makes perfect. So as I continue to practice with Blender, cause remember Blender was a new program for me when I first started, uh, the better I got with it. Right. And it became, uh, you know, you can, you can tell the animations a little bit better, uh, in the later sections than it is at the beginning. So we're going to go back and just tweak some things here and there. Right. Uh, next is our talent, uh, interview. We're going to keep going with that. We've got Mike from, um, he's our editor and he's going to be joining us. And I think his, uh, he's got a YouTube channel called Mixelpix, if I'm not mistaken. So he's going to join in with us, uh, middle of the month and we'll get to chat with him, get to know him and, uh, yeah, see how he got started, uh, liking Transformers. Um, let's go ahead and get into our special topic. So, like I said, we posted the scene, uh, last Saturday. Um, almost a week ago now, and uh, what did you guys think about it? I know I, I enjoyed it. I enjoy all the scenes, of course, but, uh, you know, some of the things that I really enjoyed about the scene was, uh, you know, the ongoing fight between Galvatron and Rodimus, and I say fight, right, because it's, you can't compare. Galvatron is bigger than Optimus 2.0, and, uh, and Rodimus is, you know, pretty much the same size as Bumblebee, so you know, it's not really a fight and uh, he's just trying to keep his head above water, right? Uh, but nonetheless, it's a nod to the 1986, um, you know, film uh, where, um, you know, Rodimus and Galvatron square off. It's not as cool as the original 1986 film, nor does it have such cool lines like, for instance, when Galvatron tells him, you know, it's a pity you Autobots die so easily or might have a sense of satisfaction. Couldn't stick something like that into the, into the, um, into the story but i did manage to do some I, what i think are cool lines like you know uh rodimus saying you know the, the reason he doesn't give up is because he's an autobot and that's what he does despite the odds despite the uh the adversity that he's he's uh he's up against right and so i thought that was pretty cool um another cool thing was uh knockout uh you know space bridging in and kind of now he's you know pretty much the same size as rodimus i think they're almost they're they're you know, between the three of them, the speed team smoke screen, they're all about the same size, right? And so he comes out and, you know, he's, he stands his ground against Galvatron, distracting Galvatron just long enough that, uh, that, you know, he doesn't end up killing, uh, Rodimus and just long enough uh, of a distraction so that Optimus and Megatron can, uh, come back onto the scene. And that's, that's a cool, you know, that was a cool moment where Optimus and Megatron, uh, return onto the battle scene, uh, they get in the mix. They join in there. I mean, the opening part where Megatron just tackles uh, Galvatron from on top of the crane was pretty cool. And then, you know, they're getting into their fight sequence, which honestly, I thought it was phenomenal. And one line that was pretty cool was like, Rodimus is like watching. They're, they're, Rodimus and Knockout, they're both like, 
uh, is this really <laughs> happening? They're just they're just watching the fight, man. They probably have some uh, Energon cocktails if they could or popcorn if they could eat, right? And they're just watching and they're like, wow, this is pretty weird. Pretty cool, but pretty weird. And the reason it's weird is I, I did that on purpose because it's Galvatron and Megatron. Historically speaking, they're the same character, right? But in our storyline, they're two different characters. So that kind of friction or that kind of oddity, if you will, I thought it was cool. So the words that Rodimus is actually displaying there are my own, to be quite honest with you. It's like, wow, that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty weird, but pretty cool, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, and then the final thing that, that stuck out to me that I really enjoyed was the fact that Bruticus gets back into the action and he's looking for some payback, man. He's been hammered pretty hard by the, the, the Destructicon, so now it's time for him to get some payback. And and I, I, I love the part where he just he picks up a, a Scourge and he's getting ready to pull his arms apart, right? He's like, oh, you did that to me? It's payback time now. He's getting ready to do it. And he he, he would have done it if Slipstream hadn't uh, interfered. And she thinks she's got the jump on him. And lo and behold, uh, he manages to catch her off the corner of the eye. And uh, and uh, he throws a Scourge into her. So, yeah, so I, that, those were the moments that really stuck out um, the most to me. Uh, what do you guys think? What did you guys enjoy the most? What were your favorite parts of that uh, of that scene? And then tell me what do you guys think is going to happen next, right? So keep in mind that our next scene uh, is the last scene. This is it. We're going to post that um, the 25th, which is the last Saturday of this month. Uh, that's going to contain scene 1812, which is the final sub sub scene for 18, and then we end it off with nine. Again, I, I did that on purpose because I did not want nine. I'm, I'm sorry, I said nine. I meant 19. I did not want to do scene 19 by itself um, because um, you know I just I, I don't know. I, I didn't like. I didn't like the fact that we're getting to the climax and then we get the ending, right? I want the climax and the ending to be together so that way, um, you know, you have that that high with that, you know, coming back down uh, type of thing, right? So, so yeah, so look for that on the 25th of this month. Again, 7, um, I'm sorry, 11 a.m. Eastern time and it'll be on our YouTube. So for you guys that keep asking me, even though I make these videos, when's the next scene? It's It's here, February 25th. 11 a.m. Eastern Time, YouTube. All right, cool. Uh, our GoFundMe campaign, we actually managed to hit um, our halfway point, right? We managed to hit 10,000. 10, um, uh, I had, I think, about two, two, maybe two project updates ago, maybe three. I had said that once we finished animating, the GoFundMe would stop, it would go away, and that's where we're at. Uh, it's still active um, because um, I, I, I'm not sure how to close it down without deleting. I need to get in contact with everybody through there, and I'm afraid that if I delete it, I'm not going to be able to email anybody. So I need to get in contact with GoFundMe themselves and see if there's a way to do that. Um, I'll probably focus in on that on Sunday. Uh, this weekend, I'm actually heading out of town, so probably when I get back on Sunday, I'll, I'll look. I'll look to do that. So if you're if you're still looking to do the 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 you know if you're still looking to get a a Blu-ray copy, you got a couple of days left. Uh, you know, luck luck would have it, right? So um, yeah. Um, as mentioned before, um, we had over 30 different auditions uh, for for a multitude of different characters that we posted. A couple of weeks ago, we posted our um, uh, lines for some of our characters for the sequel, and the amount of uh, auditions that we got were were a, a, a good amount, right? It was really really um, really heartwarming um, to see that you know so many people want to partake in this um, in this project so it's awesome um, for those that, that did audition thank you so much we'll be in contact with you guys as we go through the process it's gonna be a lengthy process it's not gonna be anytime soon um, we're gonna you know obviously we're gonna post the second uh, set of auditions middle of this month if we need to go to a third one, then we go to a third one. But for now, um, we're going to take a look at those. Then probably in the next coming months, we'll sit down, more than likely after the premiere is done, we'll sit down, we'll listen to them, we'll make our decisions probably around mid-year. And maybe we start recording maybe towards the latter part of the year, if not going into the beginning of next year. So, um, you know, meanwhile, get your practice on, uh, you know, and, and for those who are still interested, um, like I said, um, you can go ahead and send an audition to our, um, our to my email either through directly through our website www.primeanimations.com or you can email me directly gman3330 at gmail.com. Both lead to the same account, so no worries there. 
Um, and, and for the new auditions, it's the same thing, right? You just send us a, a file, an audio file, and you shoot it on over to us. Make sure the audio file is good quality. Make sure that there's no manipulation into your voice, right? We need, we, we need the raw file. Um, if you plan on doing a video uh, audition through YouTube, uh, don't tag me on YouTube because what we're doing is we're keeping all of our emails in a folder. So if you are gonna do that, fine, no problem. Shoot the link, uh, insert the link into the email and shoot over the email and again put the on um, in the title put the fact that it's an audition and what what characters you're auditioning for you don't have to send a separate email for each character you can send it all together but if the file gets too big i understand that you can't do it individually whatever works best for you right um friendly reminder i wanted to do a spanish only video uh which is going to be happening this month why because again i saw a couple of um a couple of uh, YouTube videos regarding this project in Spanish and in Portuguese slash Brazilian um, and uh, they got some details wrong so I want to make sure that the uh, the air is cleared or make sure that the information that they have is accurate I don't want them to think to expect one thing and now that we're finalizing they, they see something different and be like wait a minute that that doesn't make sense to what I saw yeah, you saw something that didn't have the correct information. So if you see a video with a bunch of words that you don't understand, it's in Spanish, and uh, that's what that's for, right? Uh, uh, Blu-ray, DVD details, right? We have begun our search into getting a, a burning unit, right? So that once we render this out, we can burn it, and we can ship it on out to you guys. Like I mentioned before with the GoFundMe, I'm going to be reaching out to everybody via the GoFundMe uh that that meets the amount required um i'm going to be getting in contact with you guys and uh, requesting your shipping address so that way we have that on file and we can go ahead and do that right um mike is working on our menu layout he's got a bunch of goodies that he talked to me about um so that was uh that's pretty cool that's actually what he does it's Part of his uh, profession so he gave me he was talking to me, he got really excited uh while he was while we were texting back and forth so he's he's looking to start doing that we are going to throw in uh, a bunch of goodies right we are going to have the rendered versus unrendered maybe we'll have trailer versus unrendered trailer um uh, maybe some deleted scenes i think we we do actually i you know some 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 of you guys have asked about the deleted scenes in the past and i'm like no we don't have any deleted scenes i'm not going to waste time um, animating something that that isn't gonna go but to be quite honest with you we did have uh, some some additional editing that I didn't uh, I didn't foresee and so we do have some deleted scenes that we can absolutely put in there so yeah they're not gonna be rendered they'll be unrendered but we'll have some deleted scenes uh, in there for you um, premiere the premiere of um, Transformers Prime Galvatron's Revenge is going to be uploaded uh, either April or May, more than likely May, just to give me enough time to uh, to do all the tweaking that I you know I finished mentioning uh, mentioning before. So more than likely May, but if it should happen to be before that, then it'll be April. We'll announce it as we progress and move forward, right? Um, next thing I want to touch on is a special contest, right? Uh, like I said, we had we we reached over twenty nine thousand subscribers in December, and uh, we're above, we're way above that. We're almost twenty nine point five, almost. So I would like to run a contest. Uh, if we can get to thirty thousand subscribers, the thirty thousand subscriber will get the Blu Ray gift from me personally. So uh, again, thirty thousand subscribers, the thirtieth thousand on the mark will get the Blu-ray gift for me as a special contest gift. Thank you for your, uh, for being here, right? Um, we also have some additional um, uh, gifts to give out. Uh, there were a number of individuals uh, last month, three in particular, um, flashing their, I guess their name on the screen now. Uh, I, I'm sending them each a thank you gift for, stand, for being brave, uh, for their bravery right uh for their bravery against um you know just a, a bunch of nasty stuff that was happening so uh i want to thank you guys for standing your ground want to thank you guys for uh either a not getting involved and standing your ground or b coming and uh defending uh what we're doing here this project uh so kudos to the three of you and uh you uh, i've already reached out to one of you guys and uh two of you guys are remaining but i'll be reaching out pretty soon and I'll be uh, getting your details so that I can send you uh, my appreciation and my thank you gift from me to you. So that's that. 
Uh, last thing I want to touch on is there's going to be a new segment coming, and uh, it's going to be in the future once we're done with the premiere. Uh, we're going to be calling it Prime Crossovers. So um, look for that uh, middle of this year. It's going to be something that's really cool. I don't want to give, go into too many details, uh, but uh, we've got some pretty cool stuff, or I got some pretty cool stuff that I want to do on this channel uh, with you guys and for you guys. And I think you're going to like it. Uh, I'll probably talk uh, more detail about it in our next project update. Um, and so that way you guys have something additional to look forward to uh, from us on the site or in addition to while we um, make progress to the, the next sequel, right? So, guys, that's pretty much all the information I have. I hope uh, this has been informative. Once again, thank you for being with us. We are, we are one scene upload away from being done. I can't wait to see what you guys think of the final scene. Guys, until the next time, peace out. Till all are one. Bye-bye.